Yeah, I might go to New Jersey tonight and then work out of the office tomorrow. I'm not sure. I gotta see if I can find parking tonight for the car. I stopped parking the car up in Harlem because it, they just kept climbing the fence and doing shit and trying to take the bike and taking fucking with the car. And uh, I, it looks like I just moved out of there just in time because the owner of the gas station called me yesterday and said every single car got broken into. There. And um, then I got a call from Jesus. He owns the uh, restaurant there. There's a Chicharrones restaurant there. They sell everything, you know. Nice Spanish restaurant. So all the uh, Puerto Rican pork and lechon and all that stuff. And uh, great place on 125th. And he called me and said his brother's car and his truck got broken into. And I was like, oh, man, I'm so sorry. And he's, the problem is he didn't check his truck. His, uh, he used to check his truck every day there. And then he stopped. He stopped checking it every day. So he said it went, went three days without checking it. And uh, they busted the glass on his truck and his brother's car. And all the people in the parking lot. So he doesn't know what day it happened. And then uh, they don't know either because they said it's possibly on Wednesday or Thursday night, maybe Friday. They don't even know. So it's too much of a window. I was searching for the video last night. I couldn't find it. But I set up a Wi-Fi router in the garage. You know, the, the uh, repair garage that they have on the property because I think what they're going to need to do is put a blink camera. Now, I'm not a big fan of blink cameras, but I use one. Blink cameras have really good notification on them. So do ring cameras, you know. These type of uh, Wi-Fi internet-based cameras. Uh, blink is nice because you just put a SD card or, I mean, um, a thumb drive in the uh, sync module and then you don't have to pay for the monthly. It saves all the clips on there. Blink still does that. I don't know how long they're going to do that for. Blink might eventually stop doing that. But if you're looking for a decent security camera, and I get about four months out of the battery. The two um, lithium double A's. It's the same batteries that the Monimoto uses. My uh, GPS on my bike. And the Blink camera, amazingly enough, in front of the building gets four months which is a long time for a camera that's constantly seeing motion I only arm it at 12 midnight because if, if I didn't I'd probably kill the battery but you know uh, what they need to do is actually put the blink camera there so that they can really catch st uh, stuff happening right away real time because the blink, also the notification on the blink is, it makes a sound that, you know, out of the box when you don't even change the default settings. It's impossible to miss on an Android. I don't know how it is on the iPhone, but the notification on Android is totally different than any other sound that you have on the uh, phone. And it, it really gives you like a constant beeping. To let you know that there's uh, something creeping around the camera and then you don't need to oh, wait to open the camera because I think what, what people don't like about blink is that it takes a while to load and that's why people are like oh fuck this uh, you know because if I put a traditional wired IP camera when you open up the app on there like uh, HIK vision or you know um, any one of those uh, real link hardwired cameras they open almost immediately, whereas a Wi-Fi camera takes a little bit of time to load. And I think that's why people get frustrated. But the, the you don't need to open the, the Blink camera to see what's going on. You can actually just look at the clips that come in on notification. 
And when you get those notifications, you just go ahead and uh, take a look at the clip, see what's going on. Like the one in front of my building, I was able to stop a theft. They, I saw my neighbor's Ninja 400 with the front wheel in the back of, on the side door of a van. And I ran down with a machete. The, um, and believe me, I'm not going to chop somebody with a machete in the street. It was just for my protection in case they went fucking ballistic. But they ran as soon as I came out the front door and scraped the machete on the ground. They get, that sound is just like creepy for anyone. But anyway, the, uh, the blink camera was able to notify me that somebody was doing something. And uh, I went out there right away and I, I was able to s stop the theft of his uh, Ninja 400, which was good. being able to stop that Ninja 400 and then they were also they also cut my lock but anyway the blink camera is decent I could highly recommend that for people that are looking for a, a, you know a solution where you can't run a wire for a camera because like in that situation at the gas station the owner at the gas station would have to be on board with him running a camera and then the problem is if you do like a hardwired camera you know if something goes wrong with the camera You've got to troubleshoot it with the guys who are in the gas station. And uh, they might not like that. So, I mean, I, the owner of the gas station is pretty cool. Like, those people have been parking there for years, so they probably would let them. But the problem is, what do you do if the camera goes down on a, on a weekend? The shop is closed, you know, and those people are not going to open up. The people in the booth are not going to open up the shop for you to go troubleshoot a camera. And so it's not a good idea. So the, the Blink is just a Wi-Fi based camera with a battery in it, so you don't have to worry about anything. It lasts four months, and it gives you notifications really clearly on your phone. <clears throat> so I think Blink is really good as far as notification. It's not the greatest camera resolution wise. When it gets really cold out, it kind of looks a little funky, but if you point it at something, it's gonna let you know when people are congregating around. It's just gonna keep beeping, blink, blink, blink. You know, like, you just keep getting all these notifications. It's almost impossible not to know. Like, I was in the middle of eating a sandwich, that a nice hero sandwich, and I was really enjoying it. And I was getting like this blink notification. My wife was talking to me about something really deep in conversation and eating my sandwich. And I kept getting a beep and I was like, Finally, it just beeped like the seventh time, and I said, you know, I gotta check this out. And I opened my phone, and she was like, oh, yeah, but we're talking, and she was like, no, no, I said, this is the blink. And then when I looked at it, I was like, holy shit. When I saw my neighbor's front wheel, uh, you know, on the, on the side door of the van, it ran down, they dropped the bike. Good thing they didn't continue to load it. And then uh, they took off. But meanwhile, our, our motorcycle covers were gone. They took those cut all the chains, they were ready to go for all the vehicles. And uh, I think that's what Jesus needs up in Harlem. You need to have like a blink camera. That's the only thing that would work there. He was talking about putting like a ring spotlight camera and all this. I was like, no, you don't, you don't really need that. You just need like a very simple camera. And he doesn't want subscri subscription, you know, whereas Ring has gone totally subscription. So if you, if you don't want to pay monthly, if you don't want another bill monthly, which a lot of people are really squeamish about, you know, because even though the bill is only like $3, people get paranoid. They're like, well, 
that bill is just going to go up and then I'm going to have a camera that I need working and I don't have you know any recourse like I've either got to disconnect the camera and get another one so that's why people are squeamish about subscription because anytime you have a subscription it could go up up at any time it could change the billing cycle could change something the amount everything you know the, the terms of it could change at any time and then you got to decide am I going to ditch this camera and get another one whereas blink is just a you just put a USB thumb drive on the sync module that's all I do I've had blink at quite a few different sites and I don't have any problem <laughs> I don't have any problem I just use the USB thumb drive with a, in the sync module and I, and I look at clips when they come in and I don't really have a problem with that so I can highly recommend that to you guys I haven't used one of those blinks in Manila and it's good it's good to go I have an IP camera too though I think I'm going to jump this curb because I don't know like whenever you park like this someone will just ram your bike from behind I, I don't I don't have good luck with that all right everybody see you on the next one